Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2024, and we are here in the booth of Densitas. We are here with Dr. David Larson. He is from Stanford University and also is chair of the ACR's Quality and Safety Network. Also, Candace Tompkins. She is also with Stanford and with the ACR Learning Network and with Mo Abdelel of Densitas. Everybody, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we're talking right now about mammography quality, and quality has become such an important issue in breast screening. Uh, Dr. Larson, can you tell us a little bit about why that is? Sure, thank you very much. Well, um, this has been an issue from the outset where in, in simplistic terms, if you want to be able to see the cancer, the breast has to be positioned appropriately uh, and, and in a standard way. And it's actually a lot harder to do than you would think. And so a lot of that involves um, uh, a skill from the technologist, working with the patients. It can be a painful procedure. Sometimes patients are a little older or a mobility challenge. And so getting that appropriate positioning is the thing that allows you to make the diagnosis of cancer. Because if, if a mammography isn't acquired with the right specifications, it has to be retaken. And that costs, that can have time costs, it can have money costs, it can have cost of the, uh, emotional costs to the patient. Is that kind of what we're talking about? Yeah, not only that, at some point you just give up because you think, oh, it just can't be achieved. And so you just learn to tolerate lower quality. And this is what we've seen across the country. And when you can get your standards to be a lot higher, to be better, then you end up detecting cancers that you would have just not even realized that you were missing before. Now, Candice, can you talk a little bit about what some of the things the ACR Learning Network is doing and how they're trying to get maybe a, a standard for quality out there and to get people to follow it? Sure, at the ACR Learning Network, we actually solve global problems in radiology and mammography positioning or improving mammography positioning is one of our improvement collaboratives. So we bring teams from across the country to improve image quality together. When we do that, you know, Quality is a team-based sport, so we find that you bring frontline staff who work within the process that they're trying to improve, you give them the tools and the resources to make things better, and then paired with the appropriate technology for analytics, image quality review, and feedback to the technologists, kind of all of the things that our frontline staff do not need to spend time doing, you actually get not only improved image quality, but sustained results and a better way of operating within your department. How, how are you getting, so I'm assuming that you've got kind of a standard uh, for, uh, you know, sort of best practice mammogram. How do you communicate that back to the technologists in the field? Yeah, you know, taking the image or the image acquisition is actually not the hardest part to do. Um, we find that our technologists are actually really good at taking images, but it's actually the organizational design that prevents people from having good image quality. Things like everybody agreeing on what good quality is, having a way to measure that on a regular basis, um, be able to provide feedback, good or bad, to the people who are taking the images or to our patients, partnering with our patients so they can participate in the exam. So when we're doing improvement, we're not just looking at the specific image acquisition, but we're looking at the entire ecosystem within the department that supports image quality and helps everybody participate in a way that helps achieve the same outcome over and over and over again. Right. Now, uh, we're here in the booth of Densitas, and so Mo, can you speak to the role that, that your company and, and maybe other vendors are playing in this initiative in improving mammography quality? Sure. We've been focused on on providing the tools that enable this framework. We didn't actually realize that the ACR Learning Network was developing this framework, uh, but we came across this paper a pub that they had published just this summer, and we thought, oh my gosh, this is exactly what we're trying to enable. And why is that? It's because mammography quality is assessment is not a uh, trivial thing to do. It takes a lot of time, a lot of resources, and it's fundamentally also non-standardized. And so with the AI tools we've developed, what we want to do is enable a scaling of that effort. So we bring the scalability of AI, we bring the standardization uh, to the table, 
and the ACR is bringing the framework for how to evaluate the mammogram. So between our technology and their framework, we're, it was a perfect uh, match, and, uh, and now we're excited to be part of this, uh, this the ACR Learning Network uh, uh, collaborative um, to bring in, to, to participate with these, uh, with these um, uh, cohort participants. Um, so we learn from them as, as customers, um, as, we would, as we would learn from our customers, and also that uh, we make sure that we continue to align with the leaders in, in the area, which is the ACR Learning Network. Okay, great. And what can we expect to see from this project you know, uh, in 2025? Well, we have cohorts twice a year. So in the spring, starting in March, we have our cohort five. We've already done this with over 20 organizations from across the country. So we'll be inviting mammography organizations to participate with us. When we have vendors like Densitas who participate on the project teams, they come together to solve the problems as a team. So Densitas will participate with you. They'll go into the uh, current state analysis to understand the problems and then provide solutions that really meet your needs. That's what this partnership is all about. The framework that we provide is what is quality? How do we communicate? How do we become trusting partners, not only as people, but how do we trust the technology? How does the technology do what we need it to do? So we optimize both the people workflows and the technology workflows. When you participate, it's about a six-month program. So you bring your frontline staff, we teach you quality improvement, you show up every two weeks to learn a new skill, also have some assignments that you do within the, the uh, your organization. And what we've seen is that organizations come in with maybe 20 to 40% of their images meeting our quality standard. It is a fairly high quality standard. It's kind of like, what would I want my mammogram to look like? Um, and then by the end, about six months later, they're uh, pretty much consistently anywhere from 80 to 90% of their Im images meeting our quality standards. So it's a very effective program. We've done it multiple times with multiple organizations and we're very excited to have technology finally uh, partnering with us to help sustain these results over time. All right, very good. We'll, we'll look forward to following this project and seeing how uh, everything sorts out. Dr. David Larson, uh, Candace uh, Tompkins, and uh, Mo Abdullah, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank Please you so much. Signing off from RSNA 2024, my name is Brian Casey.